back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be chill lang. I'm going to be doing my makeup and I'm going to be talking with you guys. So I am going to be showing you guys my school makeup routine. So ito yung makeup na ginagawa ko when I actually wear makeup to school, which isn't actually every day. So minsan lang naman ako nag makeup sa school kapag I feel a little down or I have extra time in the morning. This is what I do. So let's just jump into it. So ito guys yung makeup kit ko and I put all my makeup essentials in this bag. So I actually start off with moisturizer and then sunscreen or sunblock. So for moisturizer, I actually have been enjoying this. This is the St. Ives Time to Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. I usually have like a little lalagyan na ganito siya kalaki and then I transfer the moisturizer there. Pero for some reason, nawawala siya. I love this moisturizer because it smells so good. I've tried a lot of other different moisturizers and I keep coming back to this one because I really like the smell. And ito lang yung moisturizer na feel ko na moisturize talaga yung balat ko. May mga moisturizers na kapag kalagay ko, parang walang nangyari. And then I use the Bella SPF 40 Face Sunscreen. I have the bigger version of this, but I keep that in a different kit. I keep that in my skincare kit. Kasi meron ako makeup kit and then skincare kit. Kapag hindi ako nabi makeup sa school, I do skincare in the middle of the day. So I wash my face at school. So I just apply this. I like this sunscreen because it's non-sticky, non-comedogenic, which means hindi siya magkakaos ng pimples, anti-aging and paraben-free. Also, guys, bet nyo ba yung setup ko? Kasi lumipat nga kami ng bahay, de ba? Sa nakasi ako dun sa old house namin, dun lang ako talaga po ydi magfilm sa room ko, cause the other parts of that house did not look cute. I really like how this house looks like, so I'm trying different places. The last two videos were in our sala and now this is my room. Wala pa siya masyadong laman kaya all white lang siya with a mirror over there. Pero I'm working on it. And yeah, tell me which setup you guys like best. And then I use concealer. This is the Fit Me Concealer in 25 medium. Alam na alam kong ginamit ni Candy yung concealer ko dahil madumi yung dito. I'm super crazy about keeping all my makeup clean. So that, dapat always clean. So alam kong ginamit niya kasi maganda. Dati, for some reason, I've developed the habit na ilagay yung concealer ko everywhere. As in, everywhere. And para ko siyang ginawang foundation, which wasn't good. Kasi ang thick ng concealer and it just wasn't good for my skin. Kaya may time talaga na ibi break out ako. So now, I've learned na I just need to put it where I need it. Yesterday, I posted that I was able clear up my skin. Ko. I was like, oh my god, my skin is getting better. And then I wake up with this pimple. The universe keeps me grounded, TPH. I still put it on, but that was intense, though, guys, as in my entire face. Concealer. I actually just blend it with my fingers. I don't like to use it like this, dry. I just don't like the feeling, and I feel like the finish is different, so I use my fingers. Eh, usually kasi yung makeup ko ginagawa ko lang sa loob ng kotse so obviously wala akong faucet doon para basahin yung sponge. Napapansin nyo ba yung langaw guys? Dumadaan-daan siya sa camera, nakakaura. Yung problem ko lang sa concealer na to is hindi siya completely nakakapag-cover ng pimple marks but that's okay. Recommend nga kayo guys ng concealer sa akin kasi kailangan, gusto ko talaga yung fit me na to. Kaso, minsan talaga, ang intense talaga ng pag-scar ko from a pimple tapos hindi kayang i-cover up ng concealer na to. May recommend kayo nung hindi completely matte yung finish, medyo natural finish. Tapos, nakakapag-cover talaga ng spots. I am just going to set that with powder. I use the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. Okay siya. I like the smell. It's kind of... I'd say minty, pero hindi eh. Basta it has a really good scent. Tapos, iba yung finish niya sa face ko. It doesn't feel like an ordinary powder. I can't really explain it. While I'm letting that set, I'll just quickly do my eyebrows. I just use this clear gel from Nishido. I don't like doing my eyebrows anymore. Like, I just like to brush them up. Because 
when I try to fill in my brows, I just get so crazy. Nababaliw ako na kailangan sobrang pantay niya. At least, ito, wala akong choice. Ibabrush ko lang talaga siya. Also, I like yung look ng natural brow na medyo bushy lang. So, I just brush them up. Then, make them look a little bit bushy. Tapos, yun na yun. After that, I just brush off the powder. Mabilis lang yung makeup routine na to, guys. Honestly, ang tagal lang ngayon kasi... I'm talking. The final thing is this um, Colorette Velvetin. For every day, I use the shade Rosé. Pero kapag makeup na from school and then kunari, I'm going to a party or I'm going to UP Town Center, <laughs> I ko. Um, I put RSVP on top. So, kunari, mag makeup ako sa morning, I put this on. Kapag lalabas na ako after my classes, siguro pa ng mga 5, I put this on top. Parang day to night. Before I even started this video, I actually put on this Human Nature Sunflower Lip Miracle. Kasi sobrang dry talaga ng lips ko, guys. As in, sobra. Kahit gano'ng kadaming tubig inamin ko, wala talaga eh. Gano'ng talaga. So, kailangan talaga piniprep ko yung lips ko bago ko maglagay ng lip product. So, I just take this. Oh, ginamit nito ni Candy. Alam na alam. Okay, so I just apply it on my lips. Simple lang. And then I tap it with my finger to get rid of the excess and to blend it out. See, ang cute ng color. Kaso ang dry talaga ng lips ko. Hindi yun kasi lana ng product, guys. Kahit ano ng product talaga, ang dry talaga ng lips ko. Wala tayong magagawa. Anyway, so, and then I'm just going to dab it onto my eyes. So, I'm just gonna dab it like that. Kita nyo ba yun? Maliit lang ang dab. Maliit lang, maliit. Then, I spread it out like this. Para nang may light wash ng color. Ang ganda niya. Sobrang bet ko talaga yung mga tints ng color red. And not just because I'm an ambassador. I genuinely really love the tints. Kita nyo ba? You know, light wash lang siya ng color. I love, love, love tints. So, for cheeks kasi, I'm a little bit more careful kasi ayokong ganito ka-intense yung color sa cheeks ko. So, what I do is put it on my hand first. I blend it out there. Tapos yung makuha ko lang dun sa finger ko, yun yung nalagay ko sa cheeks ko. Kapag may pimple ako sa cheeks ko, hindi ko, di ako naglalagay ng tint sa cheeks kasi feel ko na-emphasize nyo lang lalo yung pimple kasi kunwari ito, um, pink or lalo na kapag gamit ko tong red, parang lalo lang napapakita yung pimple kasi nabibring out yung pagka-red ng pimple. Eh, yun nga yung tinatry mong i-cover up with concealer. Ayun na! Kita niyo ba yung blush or hindi ba siya masyadong nag-show up on camera? this video this is the finished look i'm actually wearing fake glasses i actually wear real glasses to school kasi malabo na yung eyes ko i had my eyes checked just the other day tas tumaas yung grado ko from 50 to 175 so my real glasses are at the doctor's cuz i'm getting the lenses changed so for now fake glasses muna tayo actually these are sunglasses then I hope you guys learned that makeup doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't need to take hours and hours and hours. And it doesn't need to involve a ton of expensive products. Um, a lot of the products I actually used are from the drugstore. Except lang yung Velvetint from Colorette. But yung price niya actually pang drugstore na. Because it's, I think, just below 300 And this makeup look actually takes less than siguro 10 minutes or even 5 minutes kung mabilis ka talaga. Siguro medyo mahaba lang siya in this video because I was talking and I really took my time to do it right. Para naman tama yung ituro ko sa inyo. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something and I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please subscribe if you have not done so yet. And I will see you guys in the video. Bye! Thank you.